Hello folks, in this video I'm going to show you how throttling works in JavaScript. If you're not familiar with the concept, I highly recommend reading my blog post on medium.com to which I have posted a link in the description section. I had done a previous video on debouncing and if you've already seen it, you know what I'm talking about with, with respect to the emulate user event function and the logger function. If not, it's okay, I'm going to go ahead and explain it anyway. So what I'm trying to do is emulate a user event such as scroll or user typing in an input box or whatever. In this case, what makes more sense for uh, throttling is a scenario such as parallax scrolling. So the user really scrolls really fast on your web page and based on the scroll position, you do something else on your page. So just think about how bad it is going to be if, if, if you're going to call the event handler for every single scroll position it could also end up freezing the browser. So that is kind of what we're trying to solve with throttling. So I have a function called emulate user event. All that it does is it is emulating a user action and then the event that it triggers. It takes in a callback or an event handler equivalent called logger and logger console logs date. And um, the, the event is set to trigger every 100 milliseconds. And just to make sure that it just doesn't keep on going infinitely, I have a set timeout uh, that after two seconds, it clears the interval. All right, so going by this, what we expect is that uh, the, the logger is gonna be called every 100 milliseconds until it reaches 2000 milliseconds. That means that it's gonna be called 20 times. So let's just make sure that that's working as expected. So I'm gonna run it and just like we expected, it's logging 20 times. All right, this is not what we want. This is what we consider expensive. So we bring in throttling. All right, I'm gonna clear my console and throttling is nothing but a small helper function that takes in two arguments at a minimum. Um, one which is a function callback and the other that is a wait time in milliseconds. Okay, so I have a variable called throttle logger, which is nothing but the return function from throttle. And I'm passing the logger function to it and 300 milliseconds as the wait time. And unlike last time where emulate user event uh, was passed logger directly, this time we're passing throttle logger to it. And what we expect to happen is that since we pass 300, instead of, instead of the uh, event handler being called every 100 milliseconds, it's gonna call every 300 milliseconds. And let's just make sure that that is what's happening. I'm gonna run. There, it stopped. So, this is what throttling does. It, it calls the event handler only so many times based on how many milliseconds have passed from the previous time it was executed. And it stops when the event stops. As in, if the user stops scrolling, for instance, then the last scroll event that triggered the uh, handler, that will be the last time it was called. So that's it, pretty simple. And uh, what we have is a function called throttle, which returns a function, which is a closure function. And we have a variable called next tick, which is nothing but it keeps track of when next uh, the, the handler needs to be called. And if there is no next tick, which there will not be to begin with, it's gonna set it to a set timeout. And it's gonna pass a callback and the wait time that was passed Originally, in this case, it's going to be 300 milliseconds. And later is nothing but it's going to call the uh, it's going to call the original callback that was passed to this, which is the logger. And all, what it is also going to do is that it's going to set next tick to false. So, in a sense, what it is doing is no matter how many times uh, this set interval is going to call throttle logger, it is not going to execute the uh, uh, the logger function until the 300 milliseconds has passed. And that's it, it's pretty simple. Again, it's a pretty simple helper function. And like I said, 
go back and read my uh, blog post on medium.com uh, if you want more information on this. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.